right, it's uh, super early in the morning and we're out here waiting on a grab driver. We've been trying to get a grab driver for about a half hour now. It looks like he's coming down the road. Anyway, we have to be at a cafe to meet the guy who runs the Hoi An Photo Walks because we're gonna be doing some, basically a photography lesson for the uh, A-Man here. And it looks like that's our driver right there. 467? Yeah. Yep, that's him. Okay, good, we made it. Man, so hard getting to grab our Uber, especially this early in the morning. All right, come on, V-Man. You have to use a shutter speed that is fast enough to freeze the moment. Automatic settings are not going to do it for you. You have a wheel here. Uh, this is a uh, drone setting that may not give you the shot. If you go fully automatic, that's a nightmare. The camera is in charge. Autofocus is, uh, yeah, that's, that should be your friend. But the, the, these automatic settings, not. So what I do, uh, first I address the key settings now and how to control them, and then we go around, and then later I talk to you individually. Um, some of the things I also I will bring up, if you have any specific questions, that's when you talk. Because other people will, may take photos, and then you take your time to ask me a question. Because we can easily sit here for, for five hours and I answer all your questions, but then you have no time to, to actually shoot. So, but I will uh, uh, answer your questions, but not yet. So now we're beginning the walking part of the Hoi An photo walks with Mr. Peter here. This is good information. I want you listening to this. People photography. People photography about getting in people's spaces. <laughs> this is a big zoom lens. Now, the zoom lens is wonderful to zoom into something. Uh, someone who doesn't know he, uh, you're there. Mm. Because there, it's bound to happen. You look around, many things happening uh, special to you because this may not be the way it works for you at home. So it, it creates interest. The moment they see you, however, this may stop. So you have to uh, be careful. So you may want to start shooting before someone notices you. And the zoom lens is great for that. There's a big problem with the zoom lens, however. If you zoom into something, that's it. You have the action. But what about the light? The light can be bad. Mm -hmm. The background can be bad. Mm -hmm. Then you would decide to go closer. Now, when you go closer, you have to uh, use a different strategy. Try to look out for things that are relevant to the subject, to the photo you want to take. Now, when you do this for the first time, you may make mistakes because uh, yeah, you may still be nervous when you approach strangers. I don't know, I don't know, I don't really know you. So what I'm going to talk about now is important. Because you can, what you can do with photos, you tell stories. You can tell a story with one photo or with a collection of photos. So we have many pieces in the puzzle. For one photo, you need to be more careful what you put into your frame. So you need a subject, you need something uh, that matters. Now, I took a photo of this building. Now, not that this building is so super photogenic, but there is a story here, a story that uh, I want to tell, explain why I did it. And you can either agree with me or disagree, that's, that's up to you, it's also personal taste. In Vietnam, many buildings disappear. That's the way they uh, move. We, when we move house, we, we go through. A different house. Here they don't usually do it. They destroy the whole building and they build a new house in the same spot. So there is this urge to move forward. If you look there at the top, you see the shrine. In Vietnam, every house has at least one, usually one on each floor. 
Most of the praying here is done to ancestors. They burn their incense, they pray, they pray to the ancestors, they offer stuff to the ancestors. Uh, they burn stuff so they can uh, use that in the afterlife. If it interests you, if it doesn't interest you, then so be it. So this is my story here. What do you think about that? It's cool. So he's thinking about the, his story, telling a story with a picture. You can tell a story with a picture. But then it matters. What do you put into it? What is the story you want to tell? Is it clear to the viewer that there's something? walking down this, the alleyway here on the uh, uh, Hoi An photo walks and uh, there's a guy fixing spokes uh, for motorbikes and uh, he called Bastion over there to you know teach him a little bit so just you know not planned uh, at all we just happened to be walking down the uh, the alleyway here and uh, he just you know just grabbed him and is uh, treating him like a grandpa. Yeah? Oh. <laughs> so I told him, I said, I'm going to leave the boy here for two days. You make him work, he eats lots of food though. <laughs> okay, you good? You stay here? You work? Yep. No. No? <laughs> Uh, now we pick you up at five. Yeah, you stay here. We go. We'll see you. <laughs> okay, bye. All right. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> well, there we go. We're about wrapping it up here. So that was cool. That was a cool few hours. B man, thanks for being patient while uh, you know mom and Aiden and me are kind of doing our thing. But at least you found some dogs to pet. Yeah. So that's cool. But uh, I, think, I think it's a great place to go if you want to learn about pictures. I didn't really do much because I just filmed and V-Man, he was petting dogs. But uh, Aiden and Amy learned a lot. And it was cool because there are people on this tour that you would not meet anywhere else. I mean, you just, you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be there enough. So it's good to be in that area and then you just kind of get invited in and you get to see people and meet them. So very cool experience. Thank you.